Welcome back everybody to the Ultimate Emperor Gaming Channel. Today we got one of the really nice houses, newer house. It's the Bastion Sanguinaris. And this is one of the homes that holds 700 pieces. Honestly, they could probably double that and you would still have room to spare. But what they did with this one with the 700 pieces is really really cool especially on the inside and if you come to the front entrance very nice use of the sculptures really big fan of the lighting in here This has such an enchanted feel to it. Now over this way is a crafting area that they've set up. I know one thing, if I was making a dagger, this is the spot I would want to. I mean, how relaxing is that? Now let's head to the inside. This is the part I'm really excited to show y'all. Now, anybody that owns this house, when you walk in the front entrance, it does not look anything like this. You can barely tell it's even the same house. Nice little bar area over there. You gotta have a bar. I'd say they probably got some pretty good drinks at this place. This is high-end stuff. Little kitchen area. Even with the deep freezer. How many of y'all can say you've got a deep freezer in ESO? How many of y'all can even say y'all seen a deep freezer in ESO? I know I never had one. But this house sure ha does give some good ideas. Kitchen area back here. Nice little cooking spot. Little sitting area over there. Oh, a little personal bacon space. Use an ancient Daedric artifact to feel how 
Nice blue banner for the covenant. What it should be. Once again, anybody that owns this house can tell that it looks nothing like it does right now originally. I mean, right now it's like there's a forest on the roof. You know, whenever I play Elder Scrolls Online, I want my places to look like this. I mean, the decorating on this home is really amazing. It really is. And you have a house this nice, you know it's going to have an aquarium in it. How could you not? A couple of nice little thrones look down upon the peasants. Yeah, this house, like I said, I can't say it enough. It's just amazing. This is where your danger friends can go hang out. Now, as awesome as all this was that you've already gotten to see, but wait, there's more. Once again, this looks nothing like the original house. Well, we've already seen a deep freezer. Now we have the sauna. With a shower. An ESO shower. And a monkey riding a pig. 
That's pretty important. I mean, everybody needs a good war monkey. Especially when they have their trusty mount also. Now this is a study. Yeah, a little bit of a trophy room, I do believe. For the covenant. And this is what a successful adventure area should look like. Lots of riches. And books. Once again, just the amount of detail he has put into this place is just outstanding. It really is. I can't, I can't say enough. This is one of my favorite houses I've ever been in. I mean, everywhere you look in these rooms, it's just something that you didn't notice before, and you're like, "Oh, that's awesome." Or why couldn't I think of something like that? A home that's in a cave. This is one of the most enchanting places I've ever seen. I mean, the way I gotta give Elder Scrolls credit on this one. Finally, we get to the sleeping quarters. Yeah, I have the fireplace. I'm sure it gets a little cold in the cave. Yeah, this house is really just beautiful. It really is. I hope y'all have enjoyed seeing this one too. Like I said, this is one of my favorite ones I've seen. Well, y'all, until the next round, I hope to see you soon. Ultimate Emperor Gaming Channel, give us a like and subscribe if you like what you see. And we'll have another one come to you when we can.